welcome to Go King Runners Club 2021. Uh, I'm your host, Sean oh, Conway, geez. and as always, I'm with Nathan Oh, oh <laughs> I wish you weren't right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how was your Christmas? Ah, uh, not as exciting as yours. But this year. <laughs> uh, no, man, it's a, it's been a minute, but like this year, we've got a few news resolutions. We're going to come out with an episode every week. I won't, but you will. Yep. Yep. Uh, we will. <laughs> we will. As a, we will. As a team. Uh, Mississippi Willie will be part of it. Mississippi Willie, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to have a few special guests to will. help us along the way. Yeah. But before then, how's your art looking this week? It's good. I like my art this week. Did um, you do the art this week or before Christmas when we were meant to do this episode? And then Christmas, Santa was like, I've got other plans for you, Mr. Hull. Uh, Santa delivered the art down my chimney. Did he? Yeah. Oh. He went, you've been unproductive, you useless <laughs> fuck. Here you go. True story of my art. I, went, I looked at my, my little pad and went, fuck, I've ran out of pages. Yeah. Searched my house and went, I have one piece of paper in this house that I can draw on. So it was one attempt. I had no eraser, two pencils, one piece of paper. and went, fuck, I better make this count. Otherwise, and I did it yesterday, by the way. So if I yeah. fucked it up, I wouldn't <laughs> have had anything today. Uh, would you like to say it? Are we starting? Are we going straight into it? <laughs> Who, do you want to rock, paper, scissors? Is, how are we going to well, do we this? We asked about my ass. We may as well. Yeah, let's look at it. Continue. We don't or do we want to build suspense? <laughs> what well, continuity are you talking about? Do we want to build suspense for the audience? It's like, oh, we know about Hell's art. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, I want to see yours. You do want to see it? Now, I know yours uh, is called The Bag. Yeah. But I don't know what it's about. It actually was originally called Head Job. And then when you messaged oh, me yesterday I mean, and said, what's it called? I was like, The Bag, because I panicked and forgot the name of it. Bloody professionalism, uh, Sean. Well, uh, I've been here for like two hours doing another recording and no one bothered to message me. <laughs> Uh, oh, looking at that, I fucked up one of these. Oh, and it's it. Brian. Oh. Brian fucking messaged me, you dick. Brian, aka oh, Willie Mississippi, fucking Jimmy uh, Wisconsin, Kenny Wisconsin. Uh, so there's the man with no face. Jesus. <laughs> this, uh, oh, okay. the headless goat. I have a rocket as a face. Uh, <laughs> I'm Red guessing rocket. you're keen on. Is this. Is it the Riddler in the Batcave? No, it's not the Riddler in the back case. So it's called the bag. It's called the bag. As you know. A, and he's holding a box. Uh, no, he's holding a bag. All right. A square, <laughs> a square bag. It's uh, like, you know, those paper bags, this little garbage bag. Yeah, yeah, and he, nice. he's wearing uh, clogs. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. Not? yeah. So he's Dutch. He can be Dutch. Yeah. Although I'm not giving a Dutch accent in the show, in the episode. <laughs> like, uh,. And I do not know. Oh, he's done a crazy hashtag to start off 2021. <laughs> this is a WN. That's like a cryptic uh, message. That's yeah, almost big, an Illuminati. There's a bit going on there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a. It's one thing that it reminds me of, and I'm guaranteed it's probably not about that. It's like hug me, I'm scared. Do you remember, did you ever see that? It was like a British kids show that was made purely for horror of adults. No. Oh, okay. We'll play that. For, we'll put a link put in a the, the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's fucking terrifying. What I'm realising is the question mark that's floating over the pavement. I didn't actually uh, thicken the line up and it's really fucking annoying me now. Which one? The one that's over the, the footpath. This one? No, no, over it. This yeah. One? Ah. And it's really annoying me. Maybe it's underneath. And that's why it's a bit okay. uh, through the illumination of the mirror. Yeah. Uh, we'll see, give Brian yeah. Beto. So any idea what the story's about? Beto? Uh, it sounds like a guy with New Year's resolutions, but he doesn't know what they are. Completely and he's throwing out all the wrong. drama into the rubbish. Completely wrong. Well, that's what it should be about. <laughs> <laughs> Beto, yeah, any, any ideas there? Beto? Yeah, this is it here. That. Oh, oh I don't like puppets that much. So. Oh, man. <laughs> puppets are the least scary thing about this you oh. specifically don't like puppets uh not really i'm not a fan yeah. uh well, this one's a <laughs> fucked up one a weird thing to not be a fan of so but whilst brian's looking at the story can you can just, you mute that please when i uh wrote this it being christmas and everything so wait it's either called the bag or the head job yeah not much head job going on in that 
Yeah. I think maybe. Yeah. Well, as I was about to explain. Unless the question marks were all like Harvey Weinstein sex pests. Because <laughs> then he's just like, they just creepily hang around the dude. Well, head job wasn't just... that kind of head job. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was writing this, it being Christmas and all, yeah. I was working fucking massive days. I had a couple of days off. And on those couple of days off, I just got annihilated drunk. Yeah. To forget about the fact that I've been working such big days. Then I went back and did it work and did really big days. So there's a point in this story where I write myself into a small corner. See if you can pick it. <laughs> oh, these are my favourite parts. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Just smashing the microphone. Now. I like to call them plot hole ladders. Uh, there's plenty this of plot holes. You, plenty no, of the holes. ladders. This is how oh, you call it a plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a point from start. That's where we're going with this. Fuck it. So, so the bags. The bag. By Nathan Hull. Yeah. But I couldn't I'm even glad say, it's from you. I can't even really say it's by me, though, because it was by, like, a shell of me. It was by, like, the ghost of me. Oh, oh your ghost I writer. I don't even really Man, remember writing this. Man, that's a Stephen this. King story. <laughs> if I'm, the ghost writer was the actual writer the whole time. <laughs> oh, guy, like, the, that the whole the next, time. The whole time. The whole time. That would be the name of the oh, story, the whole yeah, time. Yeah. That's the name of your book that you'll release hardcover. Yeah, and then it's just you. The just, name of my book is going to be called A Wasted Life. <laughs> And then memoir. it's like you just looking at a sunset <laughs> <laughs> with like holding your thongs, but like a button up watch. <laughs> so I'm taking no responsibility for this story because I yeah. can't remember writing it because I was <laughs> fucking drunk and died. So, <laughs> Alrighty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Just carry the bag. That's all I have to do. Carry this bag from that staircase and leave it a few blocks away in a predetermined city garbage bin. 10 grand just for a short walk. Easy money, right? I mean, the only catch is that I mustn't look inside the bag. Cool. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care what's in the bag. It's just a stupid bag. Worth a lot of money. Going in a bin. It's probably just a really bad sandwich. Or a pair of pants someone's shit in. Yeah, that must be it. Someone's really embarrassed about shitting themselves. So they got a stranger to approach me to dispose of the pants. Pretty obvious, really. I wonder what kind of pants they are. Average jeans. Maybe old mafia suit pants. Don shit themselves sometimes, right? And they can afford to dispose of shitty pants like this. Makes sense. Anyway, only a couple of hundred more meters and my work's done. Wait, why am I looking in the bag? And why is there a human head staring back at me? I liked this bag better when it was holding soiled britches. The dead head is staring at me, creeping me out, but I can't help but stare back. Our eyes lock on each other. I close the bag, then open it again and realize the head is resting on a pair of pants, shit stained pants. I <laughs> chuckle and walk on dumping the bag in the bin. A week later, 10 grand is delivered to my bank account. And all I can think is, damn, this story really went nowhere. I I like it except the last line because it totally went somewhere. <laughs> and the only thing I'm disappointed about is, do you remember the movie Friday? Yeah, I, was, I actually watched uh, the last one of those today. No, no, I meant the first Friday where Ice Cube smokes weed for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah. Big Worm's head is in like yeah. the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> like that... I reckon if you had another 200 words where you start building a relationship between you and the head. That was the original idea was the head was going to talk and there was going to be like a whole... And I was so fucked. I was just like, I just need to finish this because everything I wrote was getting really, really obscene and weird. <laughs> and not in a good way. In a uh, bad way. It's always <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, but it was... it was You know when you're going too long? and you, yeah. you I was, So I was getting into further and further plot holes. So I just got it off. It like, fucking whatever. Oh, man. man. That, that story should be called the story that could have been <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll rewrite it into a movie one day and it give it a finishing an ending, an ending a finishing <laughs> that could be the best if they're both cops and it's a buddy cop movie <laughs> just a, one cop in a shitty pair of pants ooh creepy <laughs> alright don't talk about the police sorry ghost police <laughs> ooh <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so that was for that. On the contrary, when we get to it, I'm fucking happy with my 99 word story, which I wrote in the same state. Which was. Vegan in a swamp. Vegan in a swamp. Did you yeah. write yours? Nope. Okay, great. You <laughs> fucking asshole. I'll ad lib one. No, I think we got. <laughs> uh, Counting one to 99 doesn't count. Well, I'm pretty keen to see that story. I reckon that would work so good as like a buddy cop movie. Well, let's, let's write that. Let's make this a thing. But like, it's. We can oh, put Kev's it's head it's, in it's bags, like a psycho. Tally. It's a psycho cop who's kind of like losing his mind, and it's the last dude. It's like his the last partner. victim of a serial killer, oh. and it's only like 
the head needs to find the body. But his it could be body. his partner's head that he's cut off that day. Could be. Duty. Could be. But, like, the head needs to help the copper yeah. find his body. Well, he's solving his own murder mystery, serial. but he was the murderer. Because that's the, that's the trophy of the serial killer. It's the <laughs> rest of the body. <laughs> I want to know, but whose shit is in the bag, then? Uh, That's his calling card. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit pants serial well, killer. I, I think in my mind, it was obviously the mafia disposing of a head. They'd got rid of the body elsewhere, but the Don had also shit himself. So it was like two birds, one stone. So really it was five grand for the head, five grand for the shitty pants. Yeah, and this is the way I outsource <laughs> of my assassinations. I always do my ragu. It's a bad batch of master. Why do you always kill the my assassins in here? You know it runs it through my belly. <laughs> Wait, maybe this is a cannibal. It's, it's a cannibal That's, mafia. That was my uh, 2021 news resolution: is more Italian stereotype voices, <laughs> nailing it. I so, feel like the Italians are cool with it. Yeah, you're a bit Italian, right? And you're cool with it. Oh, I've got Italians. Yeah. Uh, next, like family over, if that makes sense. Yeah. We t- we have Christmas together. Yeah. But then and they, they love it. And then they bring like uh, that, uh, they bring bad Italian food, but then they also bring good Italian food. So it sort so of weighs itself out. Yeah. So sort of like how we bring bad Italian stereotypes, but we're being nice to Italians. Well, they also don't appreciate my <laughs> advice. Who would have thought that a white, Italians don't like getting food advice from a white Australian man. <laughs> it's, uh, Do you know what? This could use less olive it's oil. It's the patriarchy, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> more Vegemite more life, Vegemite that's all you gotta say more you know Vegemite. what would be a really good source for this Heinz <laughs> hey do I they have ketchup bread on this parmesan it would be yeah. delicious do they have ketchup in your restaurant no it's tomato sauce <laughs> you know. oh tomato sauce we don't have dead horse in the restaurant mate if that's what you're asking well you don't work at Ikea <laughs> <laughs> also owned by the Nazis Ikea yeah yeah but I don't know if you know much about World War Two. The Germans had a good, good uh, takeover of they invested most in of a few Europe. Things, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Great businessmen. Yeah. Just you know, <laughs> yeah. you know that football. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how well, the fuck? We do, can't go downhill from where we. How do we bro. talk about? Uh, how do we get back to Nazis? It's just a, it's a natural <laughs> progression, I think. Uh. Before, we, before we go any further, let's get off the Nazi train and I'll show you my art. <laughs> sorry, oh, we said that and okay, failed. Oh, Jesus. I'm just going to show sorry, my I'm, sorry, I'm just going to show sorry. my art. <laughs> you know what sucks is my New Year's resolution was to make less inappropriate jokes and <laughs> that one has failed. Yeah, that fucked up. <laughs> All right, so this is my one. Oh. How are you going to make less inappropriate jokes? Isn't that like about sixty percent of your? Uh... Well, it was an inappropriate joke around it. Inapp- it was meta. Oh, is what it was. okay. Uh, so earlier I said I'm creeped out by um, puppets. Yeah, I'm equally creeped out by this. Okay, good. More so. This is obviously some sort of horror. Well, I wrote this just before Christmas when we were meant to do the episode. So uh, we're going to get to enjoy this story together because I don't really remember what it's about. <laughs> It's fucking creepy. You've got a little bit of uh, yeah, eight graffiti going on there, which I like. Oh yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, that was, I'm down with that. YouTube uh, had a look at graffiti. It looks like it looks like the kind of graffiti you would see uh, in uh, San Andreas, like, it, like the the Grand Theft Auto. 3. I was thinking more like Year Eleven maths book. Oh, definitely scratch onto a table <laughs> at John Curtin. Oh yeah, <laughs> which was my uh, wonderful high school. And by wonderful, I mean listen uh, to the way and I talk. Uh, Sam Worthington's as well. Really? Yeah, Sam Worthington was in the drama department. There you go. Yeah. Funnily enough, I was in the art media department was... and I did nothing with that. Before he was... <laughs> Hence the reason we don't pay Brian to do anything Yeah, but us. the reason why you didn't make it as an actor is because you weren't cracking heads at the swinging pig like Sam Worthington yeah. was. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm guessing this is about... A, it looks like it should be about like the doll is psychotic and a killer but looking at this it looks like it's on the therapist couch and maybe the doll has the issues Ooh. like oh. maybe it's not the evil thing it's made out to be well let's find out shall well, we let's find out what's it called uh, doll issues it is called doll issues by doll issues by Sean Conway 
So forgive me if I mumble my way through this, is that I'm still reading this for the first time. Pretty uh, much. That would be no right. different to any other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry was a creepy little doll who was having a crisis of character. His button eye, woolly hair and torn black overalls, he was truly a terrifying sight to behold. Despite his nightmarish appearance, he still couldn't manage to take his life to the next stage. Every Tuesday, Terry would go see Dr. Knobswallower, the therapist <laughs> for disenfranchised toys. I mean, mm. what the fuck do I have to do, Doc? An emotionally exhausted Terry bellowed. I've been cursed by gypsies. I've been swallowed up and spat out by the Bermuda Triangle. I was even John Wayne Gacy's favourite toy, for goodness sake. Terry, uh, Terry said as he sunk deep into his therapist's couch. Have you tried acupuncture? The therapist asked. Does voodoo count? Terry muttered. Terry was a normal, popular toy in the 1920s until it was discovered that one of the Terry dolls had a, uh, had the severed finger of a murdered prostitute. <laughs> it wouldn't be such a big deal if it were just your run-of-the-mill murdered prostitute, but she was one of the victims of the most notorious serial killers of all time, Greg, the prostitute slayer. All the dolls were recalled and destroyed, except for Terry, who hid under the floorboards when the toy police visited his house. Soon after, Terry became a drifter, making whatever money he could scaring children as a sideshow act at carnivals. But Terry wanted more. He wanted to be history's most killingest doll. But Terry lacked what a lot of the great murder dolls had. He didn't have Chucky's charisma. He didn't have the rosy cheeks of Jigsaw or the pure and undated unending sex appeal of Annabelle. All Terry had was a ming and a self-esteem problem. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, what do you think is stopping you from becoming history's killing a stole? Dr. Nob Swallower asked. Terry took a moment to look deep within himself to find the truth. And despite only having insides made of stuffing and a dead prostitute's finger... He found his answer. It's you, Terry said. Excuse me, Dr. Knobswallow re rebutted. You're the one who's been keeping me down. These therapist sessions haven't been to help me. They've been to detain me, Terry growled. Now listen, Terry. I'm done listening to you. Terry ripped the handle off the door and shoved it down Dr. Knobswallow's throat and watched the life go out of the doctor through his one ming eye. Terry left the therapist's office feeling revitalised and ready to chase his dreams because Terry finally believed he was more than a sideshow act. He was the main attraction. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I, I like that knob swallow, I swallowed a knob. I only remember that I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot that the I... Knob swallow. Yeah. I, yeah, really, I really enjoyed that character's name. It was good. I, yeah, I forgot that I called the Dr. Dr. <laughs> Nobswell. <laughs> and I also like Greg the Prostitute Slayer. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh, as, as far as anyone knows, this doll was based on uh, Brian here because he has one wing and eye and furry hair. and But I, the difference is I have three prostitute fingers in my body. In his body as well. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> H orifice. Yeah. Orifice. <laughs> That's why Just he there. That's Just why there. he mumbles. <laughs> no, it's stuck in stuck in my leg from when they well, Whoa. Sit Whoa. in it. Sit in it. Settle and settle then, around. Settle around there. Fucking killy Wisconsin. Sit in, sit in that bomb while me and Hull just stare at you. It's not that easy, is it, bro? Love you, Dan. <laughs> How is so, you Dan? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Vic. Vic yeah. Vic. Vic added me on LinkedIn. Oh, really? <laughs> Yankee Vic. Did not look like what he looked like uh, a very intimidated man. He looked like a British gangster. <laughs> Bald head. I think he has like the big black glasses. He looked like uh, Brick from Snatch. You know, the best way to get rid of pigs, a body, is through pigs. <laughs> did, did they have pig wrestling in your town, hey? Pig wrestling. Is that a thing? Did we they call it place? the. Hey, hell, they call it the prom. Have a bit of respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did we look at pig wrestling in your home like, on the show? We've <laughs> never looked at pig wrestling. Oh, yeah, 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 wrestling think. pigs in mud, and you're like, oh, that's right. Oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, yeah, they do from, that. You're Wisconsin Kenny. 
Yes. Fucking Back in my hometown in goddamn Wisconsin. Is the Wisconsin candy or the Connecticut cuck? <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut cool guy. <laughs> no one believes that. <laughs> cool guy. Uh, uh, but yeah, what do you think of... Uh, Oh, you're, you're terrified of dogs. So um, did did, I, did I get rid of your fear? No. Oh, did I just add to it? Add it to it. Yeah. I fucked I'm up. I'm from it. I'm trying not to look at the picture, but I'm so there <sighs> staring at me. Like, I think, you know? no, I think, was I watching Toy Story 4 when I came up with this? I was watching something. Yeah. Well, after all that, you know what? We need to kind of cleanse ourselves. Now we know what Aaron should be submitting for his 99 words. <laughs> Puppet themed. <laughs> oh, we, didn't get one, we didn't get one from Aaron this week, but... Uh, we did get a new animation to oh. celebrate a 99 random word story cocktail. Hit it. Sean and Ho's 99 random word cocktail. So what do you think that was our 99 random word story cocktail? thought it was very lifelike. I did. <laughs> Well, I kind of wanted it to look like well, Ren and Stimpy characters, and then I watched a documentary all about Ren and Stimpy, and the guy that created Ren and Stimpy, not a great dude. Not a great dude. Wish I knew that before <sighs> spending a lot of money on that 30-second animation. But I still will watch that show. Yeah. You got to... What are you saying? You got to do a lot worse for you to stop watching a cartoon. I don't think it gets much worse. I watched season three and four, which he wasn't involved in. As long as Rolf Harris is still sending out those jams, <laughs> oh, I'll still man. listen to him. That's pretty much what you're saying. He's getting treated like a wobble board in Gasparina oh, right now. Dude. He's getting tied down. <laughs> <laughs> he's the kangaroo in his own song. All right. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to go first this time because I'm pretty happy with Oh, you're happy with your I'm one. happy with mine too. All right, I'm, ha I'm happy with mine. It's rare. All right, so I got... You got vegan in a swamp. Yep. I got a horse at a soccer match. And Brian got a, a pig at... No, a lizard at a baseball game. Which but he, he didn't write. Which he didn't write, so it doesn't matter. So Next week. Next, next week. week. <laughs> horse at a soccer match. Buttercup was the force's number one horse detective, despite sti uh, still dealing with his partner exploding when a rogue flare fell into his police whiskey. At the next soccer match, Buttercup would reap his revenge. He started his day as a decorated horse detective, but he was ending it a criminal. With two Uzis under his jacket and nostrils full of cocaine from the police lockup, Buttercup started firing, killing hundreds of soccer fans before he was shot dead. The force became much stronger after Buttercup's death. You could almost say Buttercup became the glue that kept them all together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, what a punchline. That was Man, a great... That, that was, was a great punchline. Now I don't feel so good about mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that was, a, yeah, that was out of, hit out of the park, man. That was fucking perfect. Uh, My sous chef just sent me emojis story? of someone choking on nuts. So it's like a choking face and then nuts. So obviously we're going to get fucked on tomorrow at work. What? <laughs> this is what he just sent me. Just at the bottom, just choking and then nuts. So obviously we're getting fucked on tomorrow. Maybe someone uh, had like a nut nah, allergy. No, nah, nah, that's that's we got, a, we got a bad day tomorrow. Uh, all right, enough of that. All right, my nice nine words. Sorry. Yeah, uh, vegan, vegan in the swamp. In the swamp. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat you. The swamp monster bellowed at the shock traveler. Okay, but how can I trust you? The traveler responded. Well, I'm a vegan. Plenty of good vegan shit to eat in swamps. And really, not that many lost travellers to eat. It just makes sense to be plant-based these days, you know. The monster replied, Ah, oh, okay. I'll just be on my way then, the traveller said, before the monster suddenly lunged and ripped his head off. I may be a vegan, but I do love to murder, the monster <laughs> laughed. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, I like it. That was uh, a good, that's a good way to start 2021, yeah, I reckon. I think we were okay I today. We're fucking yeah, we're okay. New animation. <laughs> Fucking there might be a five minute segment of beep during this episode, but apart oh, from that, yeah, it's gonna be like <laughs> there'll be one where me and Hull are laughing, and then we're both 
looking sharp. Extremely shot. uncomfortable <laughs> in each other's <laughs> presence. <laughs> But uh, if you join our Patreon, that might be coming up soon. It could it, it, The it uncut version will be up there. <laughs> so, uh, but you know what I've been missing out on since our last episode is seeing the amazing art. Yeah. Everyone sent in. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> amazing art. It sounded very condescending. Are you no, trying, are you trying to write a story in like 30 seconds now? Yeah. Get out well, of yeah, the, the six weeks was too, not long enough. <laughs> Uh, uh, who we got first? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> look at the look at the writing text. Let's start with Michelle because we always kind of start. Yeah, this yeah. is. Uh, can you blow that up a little bit. Yeah, 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 of course. Sick. This would make a bit more sense if there was a story to go with it. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, this is lizard at a baseball game. This is lizards plural. As which she's done a couple of different lizards. Yeah, it's multiple. Uh, one looks Are the lizards like, playing baseball? Yeah, the, the lizard's on base, man. At, at first I thought this lizard actually had just some torn up legs with blood coming out, but this is one of her more wholesome designs. Yeah, that's a full nick lizard, it looks like, from here. This kind of reminds me of the milkman on the plane as well. Yeah, it's very nice. A lot of detail. Oh, uh, yeah, like the, uh, the Christmas cut. It kind of looks like a children's cut. Well, the one on the far right, let's say third base, is... Uh, <laughs> the technical term. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks kind of E.T.-ish from here. Yeah. I like... So, when I oh, have no. space to fill, I just scribble randomly. Uh, Michelle actually fills in the blanks. Do like. you remember the turtles from Finding Nemo? Yes. He looks yeah, like a... Was. But his... Uh, you can't really see from there, but his eyes are completely bloodshot. Um. Oh, yeah, he's been chewing tobacco yeah. hard, man. That's why he's fucking... I mean, I think that's what he's spitting out his own tongue. Yeah. Wait, his eyes are bloodshot as well. Maybe Michelle Secret well, is actually that fucking lizard... stoned as fuck to play baseball because it's boring as all fucking shit. I think the second baseman definitely looks very bored. Yeah. Wait, is More the picture than the shadow of the second baseman? Nah, he's just like a fucking... Oh, no, but no the picture is yeah. just in his own shadow. Yeah, but I'm saying... Is that from where I'm looking at it, the second base oh, his arm up is reflecting a tail. shadow of the pitcher, which is also very distracting. I think that's a similar to the World Trade Center uh, conspiracy here. <laughs> We're going down a dark hole. Very right. similar. Same ramifications. Yeah, in fact. Brian just made a joke that will be on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> but the the lizard looks very fear and loathing in Las Vegas. To the left. This one definitely. Uh, no, nah, furthest left. Uh, Oh, that does. Yeah, it's um like a Velociraptor. These yeah. dinosaurs. Are yeah, 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 yeah. Or original Jurassic Park in the kitchen. Yeah. No, it's the one that killed Norman from Seinfeld. I kind of want to follow up to this where the, where the batter is just bludgeoning that lizard. Just, I want you to know say, what I want to say Michelle drawing that's really wholesome but with like pure violence. And he has no this, lower half to catch her. This game needs both benches to come out and fucking just... Let's go for it. Yeah, go for Fuck it. Fuck yeah. Do you like the crowd? It, it oh, looks like there. a normal MLB crowd. There's with some COVID. reds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like your regular MLB COVID crowd. I'm down with it. Now, yeah. we need to get used to the fact that we're going to be doing this live quite soon. We should probably you know, trim keep, it. Keep moving. Keep yeah. moving. Just right. keep moving. Sorry, Michelle. No, no, I was, no, this, you know, Michelle, gonna, sorry, Hole doesn't yeah. want to see your artwork Less anymore. Less details in your pictures, Michelle. We got, we're on a schedule. We're on a fucking schedule. You're only allowed three shapes, Michelle. But you, uh, this she, one, that looks like the old, the soccer player, the soccer horse, looks like the old Detroit Pistons NBA logo. He's a buff horse. Fuck yeah. It that looks like the, Bron out. the Broncos logo. Yeah. 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 Except that they don't Oh, the Denver Broncos, yeah. yeah. And then uh, you got a couple of Lion King sort of characters at the bottom. Little skeleton horse down the bottom. Very disappointed um, horse. Also bloodshot eyes. They're disappointed parents. Like, look at that no. steroid using son beating that little girl. No. Look at what have you become? Yeah, what this, is, these seem out of character. No, so the one on the right is the obnoxious boyfriend. And <laughs> uh, the one on the left is his fat girlfriend. And he's like, why won't you lose any more weight? And that's what yes, she's just you know, this, this horse is due to go to the glue factory pretty <laughs> soon. He's, like, he's giving her a major complex. Or he's fucking a cat. <laughs> it could be a cat. 
I like that you've just Mr. Bigglesworth. For whatever reason. You're Maybe right. this is like a subtle message oh, I think saying that all soccer players are cats. <laughs> like they're all pussies. <laughs> I think that they're disappointed parents in their storied adult son about to beat an 11 year old girl in soccer and that's his life achievement. Oh uh, man, I that's think. That's a scary horse. That yeah, horse man. is gonna do break that shin of that as, chick. As well as that, she knows it's coming as well. She's like, fuck, no, she doesn't. Like, ah! She's kind of like, <laughs> look at me, I'm playing sports. With a horse. With a horse who... Of course. Looks like a <laughs> shaved gorilla. With a horse with no remorse, of course. So is this one of those hidden objects we're always talking about? Oh, is that... Are you saying that she's got a dick Do you need leg? more? Yeah, zoom in on that th- third leg. That dick muscle? <laughs> That's the... We were talking about third Reich earlier. This is the third leg. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's up man, to you. This, this one needs a part two where it's just the chick getting carried off and everyone in the crowd is trying to like, I fucking hate how these soccer players just fake it. Bloody fake it, leg bone hanging oh. out. And those two horses at the bottom just like clapping and cheering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one, if it it's fell over, it'd be carried off. No, the, the two horses at the bottom are Australian star. Like, is it still seriously zero zero? <laughs> We've oh, been playing no, they're, for sixty five minutes. They're coming from a cricket game to come go complain about. Oh, I do love the hooves. You don't leave cricket games; you stay there forever. <laughs> Nothing I, happens. But that that horse on the right <laughs> looks like a uh, like a Rocco's Modern Life sort Very of Very much so. man. I I do like that one. Yeah, I don't know why he's standing next to a skeleton though. So, well, we do have our live French show. So hopefully Michelle comes. We should really and we call should have like Michelle. a whole catalog of like, what were you trying to say here, Michelle? Like, what, that could be a whole Patreon what, episode. What was Michelle thinking? But what what are the old? Uh, <laughs> well, we can never uh, call in. What were the old Again. therapist images? What are they called? Rorschach. Oh, Rorschach? I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah Ror- Rorschach. Rorschach. Where we're just saying shit that isn't there. And it's, uh, it's so explain this image to me, Michelle. Deficiencies. And we should get a therapist on as well. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well we could ask uh, uh, Gumby, who did the KFC video a few episodes back. He's a therapist, isn't he? He's a doctor. Oh, yeah, he, same. Same, same. So are those, are they, you know, well, beep. we don't have to call it. Well, he's a therapist. He's, he's Dr. Luke. No, I know. Uh, I was going to ask her, are they going to write just stories? Get on the mic to say that we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. About something we weren't actually just talking <laughs> about. Yeah. That I literally have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, Brian, just so you know, we don't have to talk about it. Uh, okay, thank you. So any therapist out there, Brian obviously needs to talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, next picture. Now I feel bad for that skinny horse that you said was fat and is now skinny. And it's oh, yes. And this horse. is vegan in a swamp. It's just a... <laughs> this is the <laughs> only one that looks healthy. <laughs> Which is an obvious lie. <laughs> Beto, you're not a vegan. I know she you pretend to be. She kind of looks like... <laughs> you eat salmon. Uh, what was, there, was that, uh, there was that claymation movie. Uh... Well, it don't matter. This looks... Oh, so who's wait. bringing up shit to say never mind? Peter, no, you're, um, you're not a vegan though, are you? A vegetarian. Yeah, it's yeah. a very different thing. Yeah. Very different. Vegetarians, cool. Vegans. Yeah, one, I, I like vegan food, by the way, but... One, like, one's a like coward that. and one's kind of a coward. Yeah. Yeah. I put the cow in coward. <laughs> <laughs> I cow hard, no, bro. She, <laughs> she reminds me of um, a doll. This on the cover of the worst romantic novel ever. <laughs> hey... Whoever gets a erotic cord, <laughs> we should try to recreate some of these photos. Chuck a wig on Sean and have oh. him look over his shoulder at the secret garden. <laughs> Just in Bibber Lake. But, <laughs> this would be but awesome. This should be the story. It was like a romantic novel of vegan in a swamp, and it's like he had thighs like soy. <laughs> He's a bean curd tongue. He had oh, a six man. pack that looked like cut tofu. And his mouth reminded me of a puppet. Pecs of malnutrition. <laughs> Estrogen leaking from his ears. Uh, oh, if you're a vegan, you watch this show. Man, I don't give a fuck like if you're the, a vegan, you're all right. That muggles. could be the... You know who would write that book is the, uh, the Simpsons writer. Schwarzwalder. Schwarzwalder, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We should get Next. him on the show. Oh, fuck. He doesn't do anything. The shows, I think that's... I think that's just a TikTok video. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Oh, he drew a picture as well. So he, he actually did some video editing for the listeners. Um, check it out on YouTube. Us, us did a real uh, little bang-up job, more than usual, for sure. Right. Yeah. He's got a New Year's resolution is to... Come to all of our fringe shows. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> every Sunday at 8 p.m. at uh, the Laugh Resort. Yeah. Yeah. The last two Sundays of January, the first two Sundays of February. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right, a, isn't it? That's got a nice little ring to it. That sounded quite nice. But yeah, he's got a picture, and I'm guessing by the picture, it's vegan in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and that tail behind him is a smelly, smelly fart. <laughs> or it could be a, a jacked horse in a baseball uniform, because then there's something going on there for sure as well. <laughs> Quit looking at it for digs and digs, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a boy uh, horse that wanted a yeah, here we go. horse at a soccer match. Hey, fellas. Hey, mate. First day out of the summer and I got friggin' burnt. I don't know if you can see my nose. <laughs> I think you had to drag our time on this fucking... I like to think this guy's absolutely cooked. Eh? <laughs> Every time he I is. See he's him. like, I've been sunburned. I'm fucking out of it. <laughs> a different kind I've of got cooks. news for you guys. I've been in the sun. <laughs> I, I've drawn a picture. He's like a sweet, speak, he's he's sweet like, boy. I'm going to be a comedian. I'm going on the speedball diet just like Belushi. He is. He is a comedian. Yeah, yeah, and he is on the speedball diet. Maybe <laughs> cocaine, and heroin. Perth, he is on his way to the top, like Belushi was. He's, so, he's when saving I mix heroin and cocaine. I now call it the ushush. The ushush. Yeah, ushush. 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 Isn't ushush? Ushush is where you mix it, uh, oregano <laughs> and no, it's couscous. Not make. <laughs> couscous. How can only get your heart, man. I washed idle hands for the first time in twenty-one years. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, a sunburned us us telling us the story of uh, lizard at a baseball game. Anyway, I think it's pretty think good as well. It is. If you're listening, watch. It's got like the old uh, Franklin. Remember, <laughs> no Arthur. Yeah, it looks like an Arthur. It does drawing. have an Arthur feel? I like it. it's on line paper as well. Yeah, it's very high school. <laughs> oh, a rebel, rebel. Uh, pretty good story. First story I've written in first person for lizard at a ball game. I call it David Icke Presents a Baseball Story. If you don't know who David Icke is, I don't know, freaking Google it. I'm not your mum. I'm not your mum, I'm not your teacher. Anyway. It's just the story? I must be seeing things. <laughs> he's, just, he's just started abusing our viewers. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> he's abusing you guys, oh, is what he's doing. He's telling you to he, look he shit said, up. He started off as an eight ball, and then he started crashing <laughs> after the first sentence. <laughs> fucking. Plus, we love you, man. <laughs> just starts oh, fucking. fucking wow. I love his kid. <laughs> Fuck it, The video's a minute and ten seconds long. 30 seconds in, he's starting a story. <laughs> Uh, we love you man uh, man on the street we gotta do some us man on the street fuck yeah fuck yeah oh man for a moment it looked like the batter had a second set of eyelids I had to focus this is this is the decisive pitch the entire game is in my hands I reel back and pitch with all my might the ball taking off like a rocket no man alive could hit a pitch like that but it seems the batter was no mere man. He seemed to sloth about in his own skin, moving with the speed of a lizard, escaping the grasp of a curious child. He, no it, struck the ball with a terrible force, centering it thundering into the sky. It had won. Uh, he's like a mini cookie if cookie was more cooked. A uh, mini cookie. What was that uh, Bruce Willis movie with Joseph Jordan Lovitz and he was going back in time and he had the shotgun? Looper. Looper. It's like Looper. It's fucking... <laughs> he is the Looper version <laughs> of fucking Cookie. Oh, man. He is a fucking Looper. <laughs> I like that the picture says his, his, his etc. Oh, man. <laughs> What's it say? His, I'm well, a lizard, his... but I'm also a man that plays baseball. It's, I, feel like he, I feel like he's going to be a good guest at some stage yeah yeah. uh during fringe during fringe yeah yeah but i do like it it could be a good story that he should like develop more like the imagery is good uh the ideas the sunburn weird a six out of ten he could be way more burnt it could be like deadpool where like one line of dialogue is him abusing our audience (laughs) (laughs) one line of dialogue is just the inner monologue of the character 
<laughs> he should he should have three cameras. One and for the, the third interlock. One is uh, his own diary of going to the beach <laughs> again. <laughs> this would this would be fucking one of the best comic books going around. <laughs> Like what was uh, what was that other movie? American Graffiti? Was it no, not American Graffiti? It was the dude from Cleveland, and it was just like he would draw comics about his day to day life, and it was like real mundane. Uh, American Splendor. Yeah. It was uh, what's his name? Uh, Paul G. Marty. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. And he was a character. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm gonna put. I a keep thinking of sideways every time I think of Paul. Just put a. a thing it there. had a Jota Freelander. He was like a real. It's a fucking great movie. I, I've seen. I've seen it. I, I just can't. America, tell you it's this a title. Fu- it fucking be like twenty years old now. So you do that. Do what that dude in Cleveland <laughs> did. <laughs> well, I think. Um, what kind of style comedy does it do? Is it? Who? Luke. I don't know. I haven't seen him because I didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. I've been doing, busy doing this podcast. Yeah, well, I thought I would have seen him at Fresh Jokers or something. <laughs> I, I didn't see him at Fresh uh, Jokers. No, I don't or anything. think. Uh, I don't think. Calling you out, Us. Yeah, Us. Where you been? Well, where he, the fuck does, you been, bro? he does. He uh, does. He's a minor. Places I'm not allowed to gig anymore. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Same with Cookie. Let's play. Uh, let's play Cookie <laughs> before I get done for slander. Well, Fremantle again. Comedy Factory's back up. Yeah. Play Cookies video. I thought for a second he was wearing like a Shack Attack shirt. Oh, man. Oh, good old Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, yeah. I never wear their clothes. They don't make it for fat people. They might now. You know you're going to talk about no. horse. Which one? Oh, the Coke horse. <laughs> Short story. Horse at a soccer match. No horse had ever played for Liverpool before. And as Arthur entered Anfield ground, he felt anxious. A long ball was kicked and he sprinted up the wing and was about to execute a cross when a brutal sliding tackle sent him to the ground. He felt pain in his left foreleg and the trainers rushed out. They examined him and signaled to the sideline for a stretcher? No, that was a screen coming out. He was losing consciousness and the last thing he heard was the cop singing... You'll never trot alone. <laughs> this is the same TikTok that video. Was, We're gonna post weird. that TikTok it video. It keeps so coming up. Uh, I I deleted all my downloads, and these are the only two videos <laughs> in there. I think it's just gonna loop back to that continuously. Well, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you gotta love a good pun ending. Yeah. Because that's a, that's what they sing, right? They'll never, walk, never again. walk alone. It's not as good as the Millwall one. No one no. likes us. No one likes us. We don't. Well, no one does. Millwall. Where is this should we should we throw Millwall bricks into the crowd at the Fringe show? You don't throw bricks. You hit. Oh right. You hold on to it. Hey. Oh, you should have thrown it back. <laughs> I'm gonna take my one. <laughs> An open one. container. I'll throw it back. <laughs> uh, That's something Nathan Hole would do. Yes, it is. All right. So Has done. Where are we going? Multiple times this show. Are you, are you joining in? You, there's no point giving well, you two. Well, should I draw two? No. I can, can just use Lizard it. in the baseball field next time. Oh, this could be a very interesting story. But it could be that good of a title that the story doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What have you got? I've got a chef. Yeah, oh. At the city tip. There's yeah, a lot, a uh, lot. we got a couple of ones that are stuck together because I got a pimp at a junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these stories um, gonna be rubbish. <laughs> I feel like we got to put these topics in a blender and take them back out. Yeah, we, they, we sh- I shook them up, didn't you see? I shook them for ages. Yeah, but they yeah they've been there. For like we see the animation. You guys are like shaking. Garbage bin tip <laughs> rubbish. I thought you guys would have just gone through the thesaurus. <laughs> Maybe that's how we should get out of here for, to inspire next. We should rubbish leave truck? a yeah, rubbish truck. Rubbish truck. Yeah. Yeah, let's start this in a garbage truck. <laughs> let's kick off 2021 in a garbage truck. Oh, that went to shit. The garbage truck to leave one. Let's get, let's get going. Let's both drive because I think they both have it. Yeah. Wait, you're driving the truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing it. <laughs>